what is deism and what does it mean to be a deist deism is the idea or philosophy that god created the universe and then left it for humans to understand by reason not revelation deists do believe in a god or a supernatural being however they do not believe that that god continues to intervene in the universe after it created it deism emphasizes the concept of natural theology that is god's existence is revealed through nature many of the principles of deism stem from the philosophical musings of early philosophers however it was not until the time of edward herbert lord herbert of chabury the father of english deism that it became a formulated alternative to biblical christianity Herbert was heavily influenced by the writings of medieval scholastics on natural religion. In his influential work Pagan Religion, Herbert argued that it is immoral to insist that pagan nations which have not had access to scripture deserve to be punished by God. Herbert developed the principle of deism out of a desire to rescue from the eternal punishment those who had never been exposed to biblical revelation. Some famous deists include Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, Ethan Allen, Thomas Paine, Elihu Palmer, and Philip Freneau. Others include Voltaire, Napoleon Bonaparte, Victor Hugo, and Jules Verne. Adam Smith and Thomas Paine were among the influential intellectual deists many have suggested that john locke advanced deism more than anyone else in england as you can see several american presidents were deists thomas jefferson benjamin franklin and abraham lincoln deism has five essential beliefs one a supreme being Deism teaches that there is one supreme god who made all things and who watches over the world. This god has been likened to a great clockmaker who winds the world up like a clock and lets it run by its own laws, not interfering once he has started the process. In deistic thought, reason apart from revelation leads one to the supreme god. Deists deny the deity of Christ, suggesting that the belief that there are three persons in the one true god is irrational. Although deism tends to stress God's non-intervention in the world, some deists have had a view of providence in which God is guiding his creation. Still, they have not held to the full orbed biblical doctrine of providence. 2. Worship. Deism calls mankind to worship the one supreme God, but deists defy as to what this looks like. Many of them believe that worship consists in the pursuit of a virtuous life. Some deists have held to a view of the supreme God that led them to pray, others have not. 3. Morality. In the deistic world view, virtue is the highest goal of man. We are acceptable to the supreme God by right living. All people who have the same sense of virtue and know how we ought to live especially in our relationship with our fellow human beings. 4. Repentance. People appease the supreme God by grieving over things that they know they have done wrong. They see no place for a God who requires a blood sacrifice to satisfy his justice. 5. Immortality. Deists have defied on whether human beings have an immortal soul and on the existence of the afterlife. Many deists have denied immortality, while others have affirmed it. Deists who affirm the existence of an afterlife have generally held that all humanity may attain to eternal life by doing what is right. In other words, good or virtuous people go to heaven when they die. Deism is essentially a works righteousness, moralistic religion. Deism offered modern people a religion that appeared to be a more charitable religion than Christianity. Moralistic therapeutic deism offers people a god who does not meddle too much in their lives and who also encourages them to be good, fair, and nice to one another. It guarantees salvation to those who pursue a life of goodness and kindness. 
So essentially, a deist believes that God exists and created the world, but does not interfere with his creation. Deists deny the Trinity, the inspiration of the Bible, the deity of Christ, miracles, and any supernatural act of redemption or salvation. Deism pictures God as uncaring and uninvolved. Deism is most definitely not biblical. The Bible is filled with accounts of the miraculous. The Bible is in fact entirely an account of God interfering in his creation. Deism could be considered a logical position. There are some things in the world that seem to point to a God being inactive in the affairs of the world. Why does God allow bad things to happen? Why does God allow the innocent to suffer? Why does God allow evil men to come to power? An inactive God would seem to answer these dilemmas. However, the Bible does not present God as inactive or uncaring. The Bible presents God as sovereign, although incomprehensible in his totality. It is impossible for us to fully understand God and his ways. Deists believe that our failure in understanding God and his ways should not cause us to doubt his existence like atheists and agnostics do or to question his involvement in the world like deists do. For a deist, God does exist. God created the world. God created the universe. However, this God does not intervene or interfere in how the world functions. This God built it and then abandoned this world. This God left the world and the universe to fend for itself after creating it. This God is an absent father, an absentee father, 